because pure water is actually a poor conductor of electricity. Or the substances water. that conduct electricity when dissolved in a solvent are called electrolytes, a term you are hopefully familiar with. Aqueous solution properties in chemistry refer to the physical and chemical characteristics exhibited by substances dissolved in water. These substances being in water is key since aqueous literally means containing water. Have you ever been told that water conducts electricity and not to bring electrical cords near water because of this? This is technically not true because pure water is actually a poor conductor of electricity. For water to be a good conductor, it needs dissolved minerals and salts, which dissociate into charged ions like sodium Na+, and chlorine Cl- from table salt. These ions act as charge carriers, allowing the water to conduct electricity. The higher the concentration of ions, the better the conductivity. Furthermore, the substances that conduct electricity when dissolved in a solvent are called electrolytes, a term you are hopefully familiar with. As a side note, the term ele electrolytes has been co-opted as a marketing ploy by many drink companies, but hopefully now you won't fall for it because you know the added ingredients can be something as simple as table salt. Nothing special about that. This brings us back to Unit 1.2, where we discuss classification, classifications of matter and solutions, which are homogeneous mixtures of two or more substances. In the case of ele conducting electricity in water, the charged ions Na plus and Cl minus are these substances. The technical term for this is solutes, substances dissolved in a solvent, while the water is the solvent, a substance that has the ability to dissolve substances. But what about the other solutes? Can they conduct electricity? Let's look at the example of sugar's glucose C6H12O6. When this molecule is dissolved in water, it does not conduct electricity. This is because it doesn't dissociate into ions which are necessary for the electrical current to be carried through the water. These are called non-electrolytes. For a review on ions and ionic compounds, please check out Unit 2.6 on this channel. If you found value in this video, please like it and let people know about the channel because it really does help spread the knowledge. Based on what you learned, think about the following question. Which of the following substances are electrolytes and non-electrolytes? Ethanol, C2H5OH, hydrochloric acid, which dissociates into H plus and Cl minus, potassium K plus. Thank you so much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate, or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental materials.